What does a good leader do when faced with a moment of crisis? Shrink away from the danger or confront that crisis head on? That was the question going through the mind of Confederate General Abner Perrin on the afternoon of July 1st, 1863. Just a short time before he arrived on the front, Confederate troops under Henry Heath, after a ferocious struggle with Union men in the woodlot behind me, drove those Union troops back and the Union soldiers fell back across this swale of ground between the ridge lines where they would make one more determined stand on Seminary Ridge. Union artillery and infantry has taken up position, and Confederate casualties in Heath's division were so high that new, fresh troops were brought to the front. These were men belonging to Dorsey Pender's division, and Pender is going to assign two brigades to spearhead this final push. On the left, he'll deploy Alfred Scales. Scales' men will take up a position just to the north of us with its left flank along the Chambersburg Pike. Next to Scales, and in this area, would be South Carolina men under Perrin. Now Perrin instructed his men to fix bayonets and not to stop to fire. He wants the momentum of the charge to carry them forward and he did not want to get bogged down with a stand-up firefight with the better position Union troops up on that ridgeline. Sometime shortly before 4 o'clock, the orders go out and Scales men and Perrin's men move forward to the attack. Canister fire, musketry fire cut great holes through the lines, and Alfred Scales will be among those who falls wounded. His men got caught up in that swale. Great holes are torn through their ranks as the men engage in a stand-up firefight, exactly what Perrin was hoping to avoid. Perrin will see the destruction of his brigade. Great holes in his own lines are cut. He will gallop through his ranks, leading the men forward. He'll instruct them to hit the Union men head-on, and he'll angle a few of his units to hit exposed flanks. Perrin's leadership is what helped carry the brigade forward. And it would be this attack that finally cracked through the Union line on Seminary Ridge and would lead to the Union Army retreating through town to the heights beyond. Now where else at Gettysburg can we see this kind of exceptional leadership at the brigade level in the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia?